I was involved in deliverance ministry uh, for many years, um, and although saw some uh, positive results from that, a lot of it just seemed to be going round and round in circles um, because the deliverance seemed to be the focus rather than setting someone free and making sure they stayed free by helping them renew their thinking in regards to the area that they were struggling in. And more focus was on getting rid of a demon than actually helping the person to change and have their mind renewed. So I, I have some uh, sort of reticence about how deliverance is done in the deliverance ministry styles. I'm not saying that Jesus didn't say that we could cast out demons, but I also believe that the more mature we become and the more we're aware of our sonship and our identity, the less issue any external or internal force has on us. And a lot of the time, uh, only focusing on trying to get rid of a demon actually just gives it more attention. Um, we need to focus on the good and the solution and the problems that we were facing gives away. You know, there's a scripture in, in Ephesians 5 where it says, you know, don't let the sun go down in your anger to give a place for the enemy or a landing place for the enemy or room for the enemy. So the more we think about demons, the more room we give for them. So what we need to do is think about the reality of who we are, focus on having our mind renewed so that we agree with God's thinking about us, then there's no room for any negative thinking within. That being said, if we're dealing with the things that are currently exist in our lives, there may well be some issue with familiar spirits or things that are aware of who we are and then push our buttons to try and get us down a pathway of... Uh, behavior now when we um, look to deal with them you can deal with them in the courts of heaven and get a verdict against their interference in your life and then apply that verdict to your life and the key is the application of the verdict that you are free um, now the key it has to be turned if you like to ensure the door is closed on any future activity or thinking that they would have in your life. Now, sometimes that's external and they test whether you know that you're free. Um, and in that, again, don't give them any thought, take captive any thought and only focus on the thoughts which are good. I think there's so much you know, that Paul talked about was, you know, think about these things which are above. Don't think about on the negative things and give them room in your life. So I would say, if you're looking to deal with issues internally, go to the father and ask him for direction on what to do. If that's to do a court case, that's fair enough. If that is to essentially starve any of that out from our lives, then we can also do that by continually focus on the positive and the good. There are some issues where our behaviors are linked to neural pathways that are triggered and our thinking gets triggered to take us down a spiral of a neural pathway. Therefore, the neural pathway needs to be broken. And even if you deal with any demonic um, thing behind that neural pathway, if you get rid of a demon and the neural pathway is still there, you'll end up still going down the behavioral path. So we need to renew our mind and have those neural pathways broken. You do that not by focusing on the negativity of the pathway, but by replacing the lies with the truth. So see the truth replace the lies. See a different, a, a different outworking of a trigger that will trigger you to the fact that you're free rather than the fact that you're in bondage. So I think so much is about how, um, how we focus our thinking on the truth, that the truth we know will set us free. Now, what's the right attitude towards deliverance ministry? Well, we've got to keep a good heart towards every, every, everyone and everything. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we would agree with everything that a deliverance ministry does. So I think you just need to weigh that up and align it. Is this aligned with the heart of God? Is this aligned with how God does things? Is this aligned to love? and then make your decision on what you do in regards to any ministry that either you're involved in or wanting to enter into um, along those lines. But personally, I believe
believe when you know who you are, you won't delete, need deliverance ministry. In the end, if you learn to lie bust yourself to see what you're believing and whether it's true, you will find that that incorporates being free from anything which is negatively towards that way of thinking. So there are different ways of doing things which aren't primarily about the way deliverance was done with someone laying hands on you or trying to cast something out of you and identify what it is and all of that type of ministry. There are other more, I think, uh, ministries which are aligned to encountering and asking Jesus or the Father for his direction that are a better way of going. Only do what you see the Father doing. Make sure that you ask the Father what to do in any situation around being free. But the more you know the truth, and the truth, of course, is a person, Jesus, the more that truth will bring freedom in your life. So spend more time with Jesus and there's less issue with lies. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.